Hey guys, check this out. We are gonna do an unboxing video for the TRS Commando. This knife is very cool. It, it's based off of the Vietnam era SOG knife, and that's not SOG, the knife brand. SOG was a military unit that, uh, it was an acronym for Studies and Observations Group. And during the Vietnam War, um, they had a knife that was custom designed for them just for that military unit and it was an unmarked blade and there's some really cool history to that blade um, also just a great design and we've we've done kind of our rendition and we're calling it the TRS Commando uh, so we'll go ahead and open this up and check it out so it also comes with a cool TRS sticker um, that you can use. And it includes the knife and the sheath. The sheath has a belt clip and the belt clip is designed so that you actually don't have to take your belt on and off to use it. Um, it just, your belt slides under here and it gets caught in this, in this loop. Um, the other thing that's cool about this particular sheath design is that you don't have to switch the clip around. It's, it's ambidextrous and it's symmetrical, so the knife will actually fit in both ways. So you don't have to change the setup at all if you want to carry it on your left or right hand side. It really doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, the lockup on this blade is pretty solid. Um, through normal use, this is, this is not coming out. If you're carrying it, obviously you're not inverted very often, but even if you are inverted, this thing stays put. Um, and yet it's not too hard to draw. So really really good lock up there um, another thing to note about the sheath is that we've cut out a slot here um, so you could strap it to um, other equipment if you're not mounting this on your belt and now let's um, go ahead and get into the blade itself so it's a clip point blade um, kind of a classic american blade profile excellent piercing and penetration power um, also it stays pretty wide up to the tip so um, some clip points, some extreme clip points are become a little bit fragile, uh, but this one is pretty tough. It's pretty rugged. Um, and the, actually the, the thickness of the blade is 3.4 millimeters, which is pretty beefy for a knife of this size. So it's definitely going to take some abuse. Yeah, some other features to talk about. It's black oxide coated. And if you're not real familiar with knife coatings, it's not paint, it's actually a surface conversion treatment that converts the surface layer of steel into basically magnetite. So it can't chip off because it's not a paint. Um, with, a, with extreme use, it can wear off, but it won't flake or chip or peel because it's not paint. It's not powder coat, it's not paint. It's actually part of the metal of the blade. Uh, we like it, it's a, it's a great blade surface treatment because it does help reduce rust, even though this is a stainless steel blade. Stainless steel, when exposed to salt and, and other elements that can uh, accelerate corrosion, can actually corrode. Um, adding this extra layer of protection just makes it that much more corrosion resistant. Um, it is a full tang knife, and there's a glass breaker on the tail. The tang of the blade goes all the way through, and then this glass breaker is screwed into the very end of the, of the tang. So um, this glass breaker is pretty wicked, um, also makes this even that much more of a formidable weapon, and it's already in integral to the design of the blade. The other thing that, that we like about this, we've, we've included a metal finger guard, more of a stylistic element. We could have easily just kept this, the molded GRN, which by the way is ridiculously tough plastic. Um, we love using this on our knives because um, they come out of the mold really clean, it's extremely hard, extremely durable, excellent heat resistance. Um, um, glass reinforced nylon is just a great material for kind of extreme conditions. It has a really high melting point. So you, know, you can expose this thing to pretty extreme heat without it deforming. Um, it's also resistant to a lot of chemicals, unlike some other plastics, which are gonna start dissolving when they're exposed to chemicals. Nylon um, is just much more resistant to a broader range of um, solvents and things like that. So it's a great handle material. It's got a fine texture on it um, through the smooth elements. It's got this cool stars and stripes pattern, which gives you a little bit more grip. 
um, and the stars are raised up and you can feel that. Um, just has a really nice feel in the hand. Um, on a full size knife like this, I really like a handle that swells through the middle. I feel like it fits the palm really well. You can squeeze down on it hard and it's still comfortable when you squeeze hard. Um, and it's also, you know, some, some guys like a rubberized handle. Personally, the rubberized handle, what I find is that after a couple of years, they start to wear out. Um, they start to um, kind of like bubble up and peel and do weird stuff. This is a knife that's meant to last. If you want to add some grip to this, you could of course wrap this with some kind of tape or anything you want to do, but this, the, the handle material itself is going to last virtually forever. So it, it's not like a disposable knife. Those rubberized coated handles, it's, it's sort of disposable. You'll get a couple of years out of it, but eventually it'll get torn and chewed up. So that's why we've chosen the GRN. Um, I think it's got a great grip. It has a flared pommel, which helps with the retention. So um, in my opinion, sometimes I don't like a knife that has too grippy of a handle. Unless it's a folder, I like an aggressive grip on a folder, but on a full size knife that has a flared pommel and a finger guard, you don't need it to be excessively grippy um, through here. I actually prefer it to be smooth with, with these kind of big um, contours means it, you, can, you can really grab onto it hard and it's not coming out of your hand. We, we've taken the extra step to put a flared pommel in the finger guard. It's, it's gonna stay put. The handle's also a little oversized. Um, I'm 5'9", and I would say have average sized hands. Um, when I put a glove on, this still fits really well. Even somebody with larger hands, the knife feels great, e again, even with gloves on. So if you live in a colder climate or you just like to wear gloves while you're working, you're still gonna have a, an easy time grabbing a hold of this knife. Um, yeah, so it's kind of given you the general tour of this knife and some of the, the things that we like about it and some of the design elements that we put into it. Um, one more thing that I would talk about is the plain edge. Um, I prefer a plain edge on knives. Serration is great and in my opinion and in, in limited circumstances having a serrated blade is helpful but more often than not, um, I prefer a plain edge simply because I can sharpen it much more easily. Yes, you can sharpen serrations, but it's very time consuming. And I like to have a nice, if you keep your blade really sharp, even cutting stuff like rope is actually easier with a really sharp plain edge than it is with a um, serrated edge. A serrated edge might be better if you're somehow trying to cut through wood or something like that, but how often are you using your knife to saw through wood? And if you're anything like me, the answer is maybe two or three times in your life have you needed to do that. Um, and in every other instance, as long as you keep this sharp, it's gonna beat a serrated edge every time. So we, we do produce some knives with, a, with serration at the base. It has its place, uh, but we chose to go with a plain edge on this one because it's our preference and I think the you as the end user are going to get much more utility out of having a nice big smooth edge that you can um, do some accurate slicing and slashing with so that's kind of the tour of the TRS Commando if you have this knife let us know what you think if you're thinking about this knife if you have any questions post them in the comments below and uh, if you're just browsing, just feel free to leave a comment. Tell us what you think of the knife itself. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.